In case you missed it, yesterday we got a chance to hear about Nisha and Allie's nighttime routine. So today I thought I would get in on the action and tell you guys a little bit about mine. So I was so excited watching yours guys and I got such great ideas and I thought in the past three months I have had no nighttime routine because I am falling asleep every night. I'm not putting products on. If I brush my teeth, it is amazing <laughs> and very exciting. So I will tell you what I said, you know, when Marcelle was telling me and I saw yours and she said, well, we'll let you share tomorrow. My nighttime routine is actually putting my kids to bed every night. So I wanted to share what we do with you guys and let you know what kind of works for us. Do you sometimes lay by your kids and then fall asleep and wake up at one o'clock in yes. the morning? <laughs> and by sometimes you mean every, every night. night. Do I you did, really do I that? I did the same every thing. Every oh night. You're so cute. exhausted. Well, and I'm excited to hear about, because I'll tell you what we've been doing. Okay. And I want to hear when that kind of switched over for you. But what we do right now is ever since Brody started being out of a crib and in a toddler bed, I lay with him at night. So it started that way. Now my three boys all share the same room and Maggie comes down at first when we're doing this nighttime routine. And um, so that's kind of why we started doing it. But I love it because all day, every day, we're all distracted. Kids are on electronics, kids are playing. I'm busy cleaning, just kidding, I'm taking naps. <laughs> and But different things are happening, we aren't all together. And I feel like we all really crave this family time that we're sitting together and actually talking and being together as a family. So what we do is Taylor comes down for the first part and Maggie's in there for the first part and we kind of read together and then we say our family prayer and then Taylor and Maggie leave. But I stay with the three boys and every night we used to read just bedtime stories, you know, you do the books, but now we've gotten into chapter books, which is really fun. It's also kind of a reward for the day. If they're going to bed on time, then we get to read the book and it's really opened up like this great thing for us. We do a chapter a night if, if they're good. But I'll tell you what I've really learned from this and loved. So my second is more quiet. You know, Brody's very much like me talking all the time, sharing, very communicative. But um, my second is more private. And at night, he's usually the last one to fall asleep. And it's this sacred, wonderful time that the two of us get to spend together. And he tells me, he shares all sorts of things with me, like things happening at school that mm. he doesn't ask when I mm -hmm. answer when I mm -hmm. ask him, what happened today? So it's been a really special thing to be able to talk to him and know that. So Opening I will up tell that you. Communication between yeah, you two. And, and they come to rely on that routine. They come they to do. expect it each mm -hmm. night and it's comforting. So what mm -hmm. I want to know, and I'm loving it too, but obviously at some point, I mean, Brody's nine, they're all in the same room, so it's okay that we're all- Are they all I'm in the same room? That's cute. The three oh, boys are like all that. in the same room. There's other that. bedrooms in our house, but they all want to be together. There's bunk what? beds we and a trundle we pull out. Too. Like me and my three brothers, we just like to be together. And you're and still close that. like and that. And we're still close. I mean, and we I don't sleep love together, it. but yeah. <laughs> my so sister and I did that too. You will transition when you transition. Uh, my husband and I had a discussion this year that I need to stop tucking my 16 year old in. Cause I just Aww. want to, like I want to come up and he's like, she can actually go upstairs and get in bed on her own. You know that, right? There needs to be some. The question is though, does your 16 year old want that? Because if she still does, then you keep doing it. I yeah. make sure there's some nighttime conversation. There's mm -hmm. some yeah. like let's, but if you need to go upstairs and get your homework done and listen to an audio, but whatever you're doing, I like you to have your time at 16 and, and at 13. Yeah. My, my other daughter's shifting that way, but it, it is hard for me to let that go because well, that routine was such a big part of our night. And I wonder when I'll stop laying in their room until they fall asleep. Um, it's it's coming. Ah, it's fine. coming. So you enjoy every <laughs> darn minute of waking up in their bed at 2 a.m. But as one yeah, grows up, another minute. one comes yeah. into the family. And then so another one comes fine. into my bed later <laughs> in the night. And then now they're teenagers and I hope they're in their beds. <laughs> Where are you? Wait a second. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, coming up next, we are heading.